Greetings and welcome everyone. My name is Christopher Willett and I am a PhD candidate from the Department of Mechanical Engineering Sciences at the University of Surrey. My PhD research is concerned with studying the use of bistable composite structures for vibration suppression in aerospace. And in this presentation, I'll be presenting an experimental study conducted to characterize the nonlinear dynamics of bistable composite shell structures. Bistable composite structures are thin plates or shell structures made from composite material that intrinsically retain two stable equilibrium states without any influence from external loads. These unique structures undergo a highly nonlinear mechanism known as snap through to transition between their two distinct stable states. Under certain dynamic loading conditions, highly energetic periodic or chaotic snap through motion can be triggered. There are two primary methods for designing bistable composite structures. The first method uses thin, unsymmetric layout of composite plates, as shown in Figure 2, where the plate develops curved deformation and bisability after cooling down from cures. The second method uses thin, anti-symmetric layout of composite shells, such as cylindrical shells and doubly curved shells, as shown in Figure 3. Applications of bistable composite structures in aerospace include morphing structures, deployable spacecraft structures, and nonlinear broadband energy harvesters. In this study, the nonlinear dynamics of a center-mounted bistable composite square plate is characterized through primary resonance excitation of the first bending mode of the plate. The test specimen is a 150 by 150 millimeter square plate with an unsymmetric layout of four zero degree plies followed by four 90 degree plies. The composite material used is MR70 TP402 carbon fiber epoxy thin ply prepeg with a ply thickness of 0.03 millimeters. Inertial masses of 0.84 grams at each corner are used to aid snap through of the plate. The plate is mounted at its center to a post connected to an electrodynamic shaker. A control accelerometer and vibration controller are used to provide a controlled drive signal to the shaker, and two laser triangulation displacement sensors are used to measure the absolute displacement of the shaker armature and test specimen, from which the relative displacement of the test specimen is calculated. All signals are low-pass filtered and post-processed in MATLAB. To minimize nonlinear effects, Low amplitude forward sign frequency suites from 5 to 40 Hz at 0.05 G are performed to determine the natural frequencies of the underlying linear system of the plate for both stable states. The transmissibility frequency response function, that is the ratio of the absolute displacement of the plate and the absolute displacement of the shaker armature, are calculated and presented in figure 6 for stable state 1 and figure 7 for stable state 2. The first two modes for both stable states are observed to be rigid body rocking modes, while the third mode is observed to be the bending mode of the plate. The bending mode is determined to be 22.1 Hz for stable state 1 and 22.7 Hz for stable state 2. The fourth mode of the plate is observed to be a twisting mode, which occurs at 23.9 Hz for stable state 1 and 24.8 Hz for stable state 2. Nonlinear softening effects are not evident in both transmissibility frequency response functions and indicate that the identified modal frequencies are reasonable estimates of the linear vibration modes. To characterize the various types of nonlinear dynamic response of the plate, Constant amplitude sign dwell tests are performed at the first bending mode resonant frequency of each stable state for excitation amplitudes of 2G to 12G in 1G increments. Various types of nonlinear dynamic behavior are observed, including single well oscillations, mixed subharmonic chaotic intermittent, chaotic intermittent, and subharmonic intermittent cross well oscillations. I will now present examples of the various types of nonlinear dynamic behavior observed during this study. Figure 10 presents the relative displacement and relative velocity time series, relative displacement fast Fourier transform and phase portrait and Poincaré map for the plate initially at stable state 1 and excited at 22.1 Hz with a 2G amplitude. The observed response is that of single well oscillations, that is the oscillations confined to a single stable state. The time series indicate that the plate does not snap through to stable state 2 and remains confined to stable state 1, while the frequency spectra indicates that the response is period 1 with the fundamental frequency being the excitation frequency of 22.1 Hz. This is also confirmed by the single cluster of Poincaré points and single orbit in the phase portrait. Figure 11 shows the response of the plate initially at stable state 2 and excited at 22.7 Hz with a 6G amplitude. The response observed is that of a mixture of subharmonic and chaotic intermittent crosswell oscillations. Inspection of the time series clearly show the plate undergoing snap through between both stable states in an intermittent manner. There are brief moments of period 5 subharmonic oscillations, followed by single well or cross well chaotic oscillations. The broad spectrum of the frequency spectra is evidence of chaotic response. However, there exist distinct frequency peaks at integer multiples of one fifth of the excitation frequency, indicating the presence of period 5 subharmonic oscillations. 
The snap through behavior of the response is confirmed by the trajectory of the plate encompassing both stable states in the phase poor trait. Figure 12 showcases a chaotic intermittent crosswell response for the plate initially at stable state 2 and excited at 22.7 Hz with a 9G amplitude. The non periodic features of the time series of the plate's response at these excitation conditions and the broadband spectrum of the frequency spectra demonstrate a chaotic crosswell oscillation response. The scattering of points in the Poincare map reinforces the suggestion that there is no periodicity in the response. Finally, Figure 13 demonstrates a subharmonic intermittent crosswell oscillation response. For this example, the plate is initially at stable state 1 and excited at 22.1 Hz with a 10G amplitude. The time series clearly shows snap through and snap back occurring intermittently and periodically. On inspection of the frequency spectra, the fundamental frequency can be seen to occur at one third the excitation frequency, with the subharmonic components occurring at integer multiples of one third the excitation frequency. This indicates period free subharmonic intermittent crosswell oscillations, where the response occurs over three forcing periods before repeating. This behavior is also confirmed by the phase portrait on Poincare map where there are three distinct clusters of Poincaré points and the trajectory of the response encompasses both stable states. To conclude, the nonlinear dynamic response of a bistable composite unsymmetric laminate square plate is experimentally characterized by amplitude sweep at primary resonant excitation of the first bending mode. Various types of nonlinear dynamic behavior are observed, including single well oscillations and chaotic and subharmonic intermittent crosswell oscillations. Out of these dynamic responses, the lower order subharmonic intermittent crosswell responses were found to exhibit the highest displacement response. Knowledge of the excitation conditions that trigger high amplitude crosswell oscillations can be used to inform the design and control of bistable composite structures for applications in energy harvesting, morphing structures, and deployable tracewell structures. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to answering any questions.